It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 24th of January. A nice, calm weather pattern setting up. No severe weather, no big winter weather problems for the next 7 to 10 days. Really about the only chance of rain this week will come tomorrow night. Let's check it out. Water vapor satellite view, a zonal flow. Little weak impulse squeezing out some light rain late tomorrow and tomorrow night, but not much. Starting off the day mostly in the 30s and 40s. Haleyville 34, Birmingham 39, Tuscaloosa 36. We'll expect a high around 60 today, but the weather turns noticeably colder by Thursday. And we'll see freezing temperatures again later this weekend over the weekend. Around the nation, no true Arctic air for now, but that will change as the pattern turns colder in coming days. No issues here. That's the watch warning map. Uh, some winter weather problems up north parts of the high plains in the northeastern states. And no severe weather today. In fact, hardly any thunder around the nation. That's the day one convective outlook. And as we talked about, rain for the next seven days, very light. And we can enjoy that because we've had some tremendous rains in recent days. We'll get the new drought monitor Thursday morning and see how we're doing with the drought. But the rain amounts between now and Tuesday of next week, less than a quarter of an inch for the state if this verifies. Here's the 06Z GFS noon today. Big trough in the western states, zonal flow here. We're dry, mostly sunny, the high close to 60. A deep surface low forms over Kansas. That'll produce the snow for the high plains. Tomorrow, the surface low is west of Chicago with a trailing front. You can see rain down to Memphis and Shreveport. And again, that brings some rain late tomorrow and tomorrow night. This is midnight tomorrow night. And again, this is not going to be a big rain event. Thursday. We turn colder in the wake of that front. The high will drop to about 50 degrees with a pretty good north wind, fairly tight gradient. Friday, we're cool and dry, mostly sunny. The high should be in the low 50s. Saturday as the weekend begins. We start the day around the freezing mark. The high will be around 50 and pretty much the same thing on Sunday. And again, with troughing to the north, we notice uh, the chance of flurries into Tennessee, maybe extreme North Alabama. We think for now, it looks like the air is too dry for that. Just a partly sunny, kind of cold day, high around 50 where we are. In fact, here are the anomalies, pretty good bit below average. And then Monday of next week, a reinforcing surge of colder air drops in from the north. And it gets even colder. Those are the anomalies on Monday, over 10 degrees below average. Highs in the 40s, lows in the 20s. Here's a week from today. Troughing uh, over the eastern states and looks cold and dry. This verifies highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s. This is the end of the forecast period, Thursday of next week, the 2nd of February. Troughing over the northeast, and again, that just kind of looks cold and dry. Check the numbers off the GFS. Yeah, you can see the trend toward colder weather. In fact, the GFS here suggesting we could be in the 30s Monday of next week if this verifies. Got a high of 38. Now, this is not the ensemble. This is deterministic, but certainly the pattern looks colder. No doubt about that in coming days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.